I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is another brilliant question from one of our subscribers. It comes from GCSE Inequality Problems, Higher Mathematics. The question here is, Jean owns a flower shop. She needs at least 60 bunches of flowers. She buys X bunches of daffodils and Y bunches of tulips to sell in her shop. Express this information as an inequality. Jean pays 40 cents for each bunch of daffodils and pays 80 cents for each bunch of tulip. Jean does not want to pay more than $40. Express this amount, express this information as an inequality. Jean is going to buy at least 20 bunches of tulips. On the grid, show by shading the region which satisfies all the above three conditions. And then last part is to maximize the profit, right? So let's look into these one by one. The very first one gives us a condition that Jean is going to have two types of flower bunches and total is 60. So total is at least 60, means 60 or more, means 60 or more. That is how we have to think, right? Now, she buys X bunches of daffodils and Y of tulips. So, we are working with daffodils and tulips. She is buying X bunches of daffodils and Y bunches of tulips. And their total should be 60 or more. That means greater than equal to 60. Does make sense. So, that is how we get our first equation from the given information. And that's an inequality, right? So greater than or equal to 60. Next, Jean pays 40 cents for each bunch of daffodil. She pays 80 cents for each bunch of tulip. Jean does not want to pay more than $40. So that means that is a maximum payment. So it is, it really means maximum of $40. Maximum of 40. That means 40 or less. Right? That is how we are going to read it. Now, 40 cents for each bunch of daffodils. There are X daffodils. So it makes 40 times X cents. Plus 80 cents for each tulip. So 80 cents for each tulip. And total amount should be 40 or less less than equal to 40. So that is the way to make inequalities. right? So our stress here is to basically understand how do we get this equation. Now in the last part, we need to sketch them on the same scale. So it's a good idea to write them over the same scale, right? So we do should not have point and all those decimal values. So let's kind of normalize it to x and y. So what we can do here is we can divide each term by 0.4. So I could, you know, simplify this. Look here. We have this equation. Less than or equal to 40, correct? If I divide everything by 0 0.4, what happens? We are doing the same thing for all three. So it doesn't make a change in inequality. So here we get just x and here we get plus 2y. Less than or equal to 40 divided by 0.4 is 100. So we get our second equation, right? So we'll call this as our second equation. This is our first equation. Third, Jean is going to buy at least 20 bunches of tulips. That means 20 or more tulips. Tulips is Y for us. So we get Y should be greater than or equal to 20. So that gives us the third equation. Is that clear? Now we need to sketch them on the same graph. So let me pull out a graph paper. On this page will now work. We have three equations. All three will work on this page. Okay, so the three equations which we have is one that we have in all 
60 or more flower bunches, right? So x plus y is greater than or equal to 60. This is our first equation. The next equation which we have is about the cash, right? How much maximum she is able to spend, right? So it was 0.4x plus 0.8y was less than or equal to $40, which we divided by 0.4 to get x plus 2y less than or equal to 100, right? So we'll draw the graph with different things. So I'm taking equations also, writing equations also in different things. And the last one is about tulips that we want at least 20 tulips. So y is greater than or equal to 20. 20 bunches of tulips. Okay. Now let's see how to sketch these graphs. The first one, which is x plus y equals to 60. So all these graphs will be sketched using intercepts right basically we'll try to find the x and y intercepts to sketch that is the basic so for the first one what is the x intercept and what is the y intercept if x is 0 y will be 60 if y is 0 x will be 60 so we have 60 as both x and y intercepts. So we'll draw a line from 60 y intercept to 60 x intercept. Is that clear? So we get our first graph here. So whenever we draw a line, it is for equal to. Now the sign is greater than equal to, right? So when we say greater than equal to, means above, right? So that is greater than equal to. Is that clear to you? So initially, we have sketched x plus y, and then we made it greater than or equal to 60. Clear? Now the next graph is x plus 2y equals to 100. If y is 0, x is 100. So we get x as 100 here, 20, 40, 60, 80, and this is 100. Okay, so that is 100 for us, but when x is 0, then y will be 100 divided by 2, will be 50, right? So it will be right there. So we have to join these two points to get the next graph. Clear? Now it says less than. So when it says less than, we have to bring it downwards, right? So it will be kind of like this. You see some intersection right there in the center? So a portion of it will be part of our solution, right? So that means we just shaded in x, let me write here, x plus 2y as less than equal to 100. Clear? Now let's look into the last part, which is y greater than or equal to 20. So first we'll sketch the line y equals to 20. So y equals to 20 means a horizontal line, correct? So this is our horizontal line, y equals to 20. But we want greater than. So we want greater than means above this line, correct? So, so we'll just shade above the line and see this is the portion which is going to be common. So we can now shade it like this. Is that clear? So once we shade, we can clearly see the portion which is common between all the three. So this is the portion which is common. The triangle which you see here which I'm like highlighting now. So any point here is part of our solution. So that is part of our solution. Perfect. Now let's look into the last part of the question, which says 
Jean will make a profit of 20 cents on each bunch of flowers she sells. So whether it's tulip or daffodil, 20 cents per flower. She sells all bunches of daffodils and bunches of tulips. Find the greatest total profit that Jean will make. So basically it is number of bunches, right? Okay, so let's see what could be the maximum profit. So we need to analyze these points of intersections. So, so this point here is at 2040. So this point here, let me write here as 2040. So 24 uh, x-axis daffodils and 44 tulips. This point here is at 6020, right? That's 20. So this point here is at 6020. Correct? 6020 and that one is 2040. So for each point, we can find the profit. So let's call this point as A and this point as B. Of course, this will be much lower than A and B. So we'll just work on A and B, right? So, so we'll say the critical points are what? Are A which is 2040, right? And B, which is 6020. So let's find the profit on each one of them. Since the profit is 20 cents on each, whether it is daffodil or tulip, so the profit will be 20 plus 40 times 20 cents, 0 0.20, right? So in this case, it'll be 60 times 0 0.20 and in this case how much well it is 60 plus 20 times 0 0.20 that is 80 times 0 0.20 so definitely 80 times 0 0.2 is more so that gives us a 16 dollars right 8 times 2 here it gives us 6 times 2 as 12 dollars Correct. So the maximum profit is going to be for sixteen dollars. So that becomes the maximum profit. So we get our answer. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. The idea is to understand, first, how to write the inequalities, and second, when you get the answer, you need to calculate each critical point value, and then decide what gives you the maximum, right? So in this case, we were very closely watching these two points, right? It may look higher, but this value gave us the more profit. So it's kind of important to just calculate and figure it out. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.